Hey guys, it's me, QP83. One of the things that I really loved growing up and still today uh, were animatronic toys. I've done videos with my Teddy Ruxpin and many of you have commented on those saying, you know, that you had one growing up as a kid or you just think it's really cool. I think it's really cool too. Worlds of Wonder created Teddy Ruxpin. They also created a number of other animatronic toys that were sold in the late 80s into like 1990. Mother Goose came out in 1986. There was a companion doll, Hector, who was like an ugly duckling sort of character, um, who came out in 1987. There are two versions of Mother Goose. One where her neck here will move left and right, uh, as well as her features, so her beak and her eyes. The second version, however, only her beak and her eyes will move, her neck is stationary. Shortly after creating Mother Goose, the company started to have financial issues and then there was a stock market crash in 87 and they were pretty much, you know, in the, into liquidation by 88. Stores sold their stock until around 1990. My actual Mother Goose was purchased in April of 1987. I would have been like three-ish, three and a half-ish, um, and I'm super happy that my parents didn't just toss it out or anything as I grew older because Mother Goose is so awesome. I think all the WoW toys were just really fantastic, and it's a shame that the company had so much financial trouble, you know, so early in the game, because you can only imagine, right, what our toy shelves would look like if WoW had stayed open for 10 years, 15 years. I think we'd have some pretty awesome toys. Mother Goose used storybooks and cassette tapes. Her cassette tapes would go here on her side, and then you'd cover them up with her wing. As I said, this has a movable neck, and her eyes blink, and her mouth moves as well. This is a snippet of Mother Goose starting her story. Everything was a fairy tale. She didn't do nursery rhymes. Hector, apparently, um, when he came out, did more nursery rhyme type of stories, but Mother Goose did fairy tales. I have so many wonderful stories to tell you. One of my favorites is about a distant cousin of mine. It's called The Ugly Duckling. Now, as I'm telling the story, you can follow along in the book. Whenever you hear me honk like this, uh -uh, that's the signal for you to turn the page. All right? Now turn to page one. So that is how Mother Goose worked. She is a really cool toy, and there are still people out there online who do fix these. So if you stumble upon a Mother Goose, say it's Savers or a thrift store, but she doesn't work, it might be worth picking her up if you think that she's neat, because there are people that fix them. Uh, and so far, we've only dealt with really nice people that fix them. So uh, she's definitely worth taking a second peek at if you do find her at a secondhand store. If you have any questions about Mother Goose, share your thoughts below. If you want me to continue the story and uh, put it up on my channel, you can let me know below. I do plan on taping some of these stories from Teddy and Mother Goose and Mickey Mouse, who has not yet made his debut on my channel just yet. But definitely share your thoughts and your memories of Mother Goose in the comment area. I'd love to hear more about your experiences with Mother Goose. Uh, and your your stories. You can check out my blog, Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter. You can check out my Facebook page, also Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter. And I'll be back soon with more doll and toy reviews. Bye!